Are you reaching your divine destiny? Prayer, faith, holiness are key to reaching your destiny. Join Prophet Nana Seopokusa Kodye get you closer to your God in prayer. Behind every greatness in the kingdom is connected to grace. Apostle Paul said, I am not doing this because I study with Gamera, the best university. He said, I am what I am by the grace of God. So if you don't recognize the grace, it will turn you to grass. Oh, somebody give the Lord a shout. Don't look at me, so we have already preached. What you hear from man is information. What you hear from God is revelation. Revelation is the mother and the foundation for faith. So without revelation, the struggle continues. It is your input that determines your output. By the grace of God, by the grace of God, this altar is one of the altars in Ghana that a lot of prayer ascends to God. By the grace of God. Hallelujah. God told me this. Every altar releases prayer. But here it has become our lifestyle. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, every prayer you have prayed from the beginning of the year up to now, whatever you are going to pray today, let it activate and boost all your hey! past prayers hey! and bring God's attention to your life. Amen. Today, God needs your faith. Amen. A lot of things are going to happen. He said he sent his word Jesus. and healed them yes, and delivered them. Amen. May you receive a word from the Lord. Amen. Amen. For some reason, I can, I want to encourage you that you must refuse to live here the same. Amen. Something must happen. That must be the foundation for your 2015. Amen. Open your spirit and catch anything God gives to you. Amen. Because one encounter with the Lord is worth more than a life of struggle. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. Give the Lord a clap, of friend. I'm saying something. Amen. Where the word is going, it is not about money alone. It is not about fame. It is not about where you work. No, it is about God on your side. Amen. Today you will not mix God. Amen. I said today you will not mix God. Amen. Amen. Let your spirit man be open. I'm going to give you seven major prayer points. And every one of them you prayed for 20 minutes. Wow calling upon the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. A certain chapter must be closed today. Yes. And between now and 12 o'clock, a new chapter must oh. be open. Yeah. Oh, can we shout for the heavens to hear our voice? Yeah. 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 Oh, somebody in the hospital here which is here to shout. Yeah. Somebody cannot turn from one direction to the other. Make a joyful Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I refuse to live here the same. Amen. Something must happen. Amen. Hmm. Hallelujah. I say something must what? We are going to close certain chapters. You shall decree a thing. And it shall be established. If you say nothing, God keeps quiet. He said, what you bind on earth, I will bind it in heaven. What you lose on earth, I will lose it in heaven. So heaven is waiting for what you will say. For them to move on your behalf. Next year by this time. When we are counting the blessed people in the kingdom. May your name be in the first 50 list. Major prayer points that your life must never be the same. Jesus. Hallelujah. 
this is what is closing the chapters anything that we're not happy with in 2014 between now and 1159 that chapter must be closed for yeah. life you must not see them again yeah. and a new chapter must be open yeah. next year by this time your testimony must be one yeah. you will say that 2015 has been a good year yeah. for me and God has favored my cause. Clap your hands and make some noise to Jesus. Before we take off. Hey, look at somebody and tell the person, can say, hey, bumpire, can say, bumpire. And tell the person, don't sleep by my side, don't. And don't mess my blessing. Tell the person, I, I will move you from my side if I see you sleeping. I want to tell you that between now, and about one o'clock, whoever you are standing by is very crucial. Yes, sir. May you stand by the right person. Amen. If you see somebody sleeping, pour water on their head. Oh, shut up. Thirty-first December, you are sleeping. Somebody asked me a question. Why are you people so interested? I told him. I said, <laughs> you see, God lives in eternity. We live in time. And when we live in time, time is important. Even examination, you can know all the answers, but time is part of the examination. So, much as you know the answer, you also need speed to answer them. Amen. Today, may the Lord give you supernatural speed Amen. to cover the longest distance within the shortest possible time. Whilst politicians are confused all over the world oh. and they don't know what to do. May you live by the economy of heaven. Amen. Nobody is going to make it good. As the water was increasing, Noah's ark was floating above the water. Yes, 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 yes. So you will rise above every economic situation. Yeah. Yeah. The ark is the church. Are you ready to pray? Yeah. Take a stand. The bomb fire. Hallelujah. Amen. Hmm. Then I will show you what must happen. 2015 is two things. Empire ball and year. Uh, also, pray and you are careful. You we'll make it. Listen to me. Becoming prayerless in 2015 is a major risk. You can't be an ordinary Christian. Sure. Somebody is in the plane. The plane landed on the sea. You need God in the air. The Lord told me, say, you think when you travel and you can you pray take off and lie, he's a good pilot. God, you see, I was in Israel and I asked him, what's the meaning of the name of your airline? Air, they said, it means flying with God. And the pilot told me, he said, when this matter is in the air, only God must keep it. Yes, 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 yes. yes. God will hold you in your heart, in his arms and lead you whatever you are ready to go. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Take a stand. I had a body above. We pray and we leave the rest for God. Now, the first thing we are going to close is this. 2015 is coming. Few minutes we will get there. Few hours. 2014. Everything the enemy has stolen from you. Hey. I don't think I'm getting the right people here. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you don't close it, you continue to steal it. Yes, 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 yes. Anything. There is a scripture. He said he has swallowed down riches. And you will vomit them up again. But that's not even the one I'm using. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. First Samuel chapter 30 and verse number 1. Watch this. Stand there and watch this. If you can't stand at this time, we'll close early. So don't worry. It's not all night. Because we just have to sleep tomorrow. And Friday we are having our first all night. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Amen. We, we have a special anointing for Friday. Yes, yes, yes. That's what now you can't you can, you can deny. And it came to pass when David and his men were come to Ziklag. Everybody say Ziklag. Ziklag. Hey, can I hear your voice? Say Ziklag. Ziklag. Hey, I'm the captain of this aircraft. You better obey me. Sure. I say Ziklag. Ziklag. Okay. When we sit in a play, the most important voice is the captain's voice. Everybody say Ziklag. Ziklag. 
David and his men were on a zigzag on the third day that the Amalekite, everybody say Amalekite. Uh, 2015, you will not see any Amalekite around your life. Now, now today I ask the Lord, what do I do? He said, I pray, pray. He said, you go and release the word. Those who catch it, I will honor the word in their life. Amen. So today, all you do is that, let your spirit be open. Everything that I say, don't receive it, inject it. Hey, I inject it. May the prophetic words enter your bloodstream. Amen. I say you will not see the Amalekite in 2015. Amen. That the Amalekite invaded the south oh, and Ziklag, smitten Ziklag and burned it with fire. Mm. Marco Shatapaya. And has taken the women captives that were there they slew not any neither great nor small but carried them away and went on their way hmm. Amen. so david and his men came to the city and behold it was burned with fire Jesus. and their wives ah. and their sons Why, yeah, and their yeah. daughters Amen. so where you are standing your family is connected Every family member that is not here, may your prayer affect them wherever they are. I say whatever they are in Europe, in America, in every region in Ghana, as you pray here, may your prayer visit them. Those that must be saved, today they will be saved. Watch this. And it was burned with fire and their wives and their sons and their daughters and and, and uh, were taken captives. Then David and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and wept. Oh, be my soul, be my soul. Until they had no more power to weep. What did he Some people are standing here. 2014, they've wept. Today we are closing weeping chapter. Which I want to show him. Hallelujah. What? Until they have no power to weep. And David's two wives were taken captive. We know me back cry. And he knew him. And the Jezreelite and Abigail, the wife of Naba, whom you know before you don't know more. The Camanite, David, David, wherever you are in heaven, God bless you. And David was greatly distressed. Wow. Of for the people's pack of stoning him. This is the dangers of leadership. Because the soul of all the people was grieved every man for his sons and for his daughters. But David encouraged himself hey, in the Lord is God. 2015, this is all you need. May you encourage yourself yeah. in the Lord. Quitters yeah. yeah. will never win, and winners yeah. must never yeah. quit. Yeah. Are we together? Amen. Mm. And David said to Abieta, the priest, that's where you are standing on. Ahimelech son, I pray you, I beg you, bring me the, bring me heater the effort. This is an instrument that you used to inquire of the Lord. Okay. And Abiata brought the titter, the effort to David. And what happened from there? And David inquired at the Lord. Today you are here to inquire of the Lord. Yeah. The devil has taken something. God will never do it for you. What you have to do for yourself, God will not do it. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. He gave yeah. them the land of Canaan, but he said they should contend. I have given you Sion and his king and the Amalekite. All the land begin to possess it. Contend with them in battle. Are you ready to fight? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Huh. Then David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue this troop? Mm. Everybody say, Pursue. Pursue. I didn't say pursue. I said, say, Pursue. Pursue. Shall I pursue this troop? Pursue. <laughs> Do you remember the judgment I gave on Friday? Every witch in anybody's family has two hours to repent. Yes, 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 yes. Hey! Hey! Because some of you here, if somebody in your family doesn't repent, you will never make it. Yes, sir. To the other, they repent or God repent them themselves. Pray. Uh, hallelujah. Pray. Uh huh. I told you about witches. God showed me something about the, the destructive nature of witchcraft. He showed the thing to me. He said, This is the spirit that principalities use. If somebody says he's a witch, ask them. 
These are the people the principalities use. They are the elementary of all powers and principality, uh, powers, rulers, uh, wicked spirits in high places. But the closest one that they use among human beings are the witches. Look at someone and say, I hope you are not a witch as the person. You are in a very wrong ground. You need to be safe. I will help you on two things. I will deal with the witch and you go and deal with the craft. Give the Lord a clap of him. And David inquired at the Lord. How many of you are ready to inquire? Say, shall I pursue this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him. Today God will answer somebody. Amen. Amen. <laughs> who answered who? Give me the New King James version. I don't like the way they write the he there. It's, it's not supposed to be that. It's supposed to be a capital letter. So David inquired of the Lord. You don't write he for God with a small letter. That's a small, small minor mistake with the New Old King James. And so David inquired of the Lord saying, Shall I pursue this truth? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue for you shall surely overtake them without faith you will recover that is for somebody in 2015 that is for somebody that is ready to pray that is for somebody that is ready to call upon the name of the lord and it shall come to pass that who sort of us are called on the name of the lord oh i can feel these people here in the presence of the lord ah. Give me the King James version. I said that is a prayer somebody is going to pray. Yes, Lord. This is not a matter of sitting in your bedroom and crying. God said, pursue. Push. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh. Mm-hmm. Faith is an offensive and a defensive weapon. Hey. Mm-hmm. You come after them. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. In warfare, if you stay in your camp to fight, you will be you can be defeated. In warfare, the best strategy is to take the battle to the enemy's camp. That's right. That's right. Today, may you take the battle to the hey. devil's nose. Hey. 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 That is one thing I love about America. They don't fight you. They fight you by coming to your territory. Hey. So, we, it's not a matter of entering Iraq and America near shoot. We are there. So, while their people are saved, they are killing your people. Today, may you develop a strategy to go to the camp of the enemy. Because when you are in defensive, you are vulnerable. But when you are in an offensive, you attack and defend. This is more than the way you are making it religious. This place is not a religious ground. Get it? And David inquired of the Lord saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? The thing is a troop. Financial troop. Academic troop. Hallelujah. What are you talking about? Troop. Contending, working for years without promotion. Mm. What is it? What is it? What is it? Today, the God that answered by fire. Let him become your God if you are alive here. Jesus. Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue. For thou shalt surely overtake them. And without fail, you will recover. Without what? Fail. Without a prophetic way. Without fail. Everybody here, from the man with the microphone with the person at the back, Satan has stolen something from you. Yes, sir. Whether you believe it or not. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Job 2015 is there. Pine. Everybody here. Lift up your two hands. That's the first prayer point. Amen. Amen. Everybody here. There is something in Satan incubators that they must vomit it out. Jesus. Hallelujah. Job chapter 20, verse 15. Everybody here. Are you alive? Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Huh? He has swallowed down riches. It is in something's belly. He has swallowed down riches. And he shall vomit them up again. If he refuses to do that, God shall cast it out of his belly. Stop your two hands. So your money can be in the belly of a python. The realm of the spirit is too rare for you to take things for granted. This is your first prayer point. 
Recovery anointing. Recovery anointing. Lord, whatever they stole from my great grandfather, whatever they stole from my grandfather, whatever they stole from my father, today I'm calling for restoration. Jesus. God will backdate the blessing. Amen. Watch this one. Why should Isaac be poor? Why should Isaac be poor by the state of Abraham? And why should Jacob be poor by the state of Isaac? And why can't Joseph make it coming from the descendants of Jacob? So, the state of your father can affect you okay. if you are not a fighter. Yeah. And a lot of us are standing here, we are already affected. The circumstance even surrounding your birth is a mystery. Lift up your two hands. Today, God needs prayer. Prayer must be ascended, passionate, heartfelt prayer. Jesus. Somebody must say, Lord, I am tired of where I am. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes. oh, oh, yes, oh. Yes, I yes, wish yes. I can look at somebody's face. Yes, 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 yes. I say, tell somebody, I, I, I am tired I of am where tired I am. Tired of where? Uh, are you not tired of this financial appetite? Are tired. you not tired of this uh, barrenness? Are you not tired of this marital trouble? Hey, let me tell you this. Yeah. If you are satisfied where you are, you can never move to the next level. The greatest enemy to the future is the past. Lift up your two hands. What are you talking about? The bomb pie. We have left the place when uh, 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 12 o'clock. You are joking. As soon as Zion traffic. He brought forth her children. Yes. Yes. Intense yes. prayer. The first prayer is a prayer of recovery. 2015. I refuse to be broke. I refuse to be frustrated. I refuse to be sick. Whatever the enemy has stolen from my life. As I call upon the name of the Lord. On this strategic day. Lord I want to see your glory. Somebody Lord I want to see your glory. Are you the God of heaven? Hey. Today I told God sometimes. say Lord. Those who go to Juju and those who serve the devil, even sometimes they want to boast that they don't see their negative power is there. What about you, the Almighty God that we are calling upon? Today, show yourself as a man of war. You will never be ashamed. They will never use you as a contact for gossip. Your God will frustrate their intentions. Are you ready to pray? Give the Lord a sign seconds of sound. Ten seconds of sustained sound. I said ten seconds of sound. Oh, the gentle ones are not shouting. There is a God in heaven. There is a God in heaven. Receive me at the compound. So let's take it upon the living compound. So the power of the living compound. Recover, recovery, recovery. Supernatural recovery. Lift your voice and pray. You must not remain the same. Pursue, overtake, and recover all. Prayer can bring it. Prayer can change.
Financial struggle is over. I speak as a prophet of God that today the snare is broken. Lift up your tool. Catch the word. God himself is giving the prayer points. Number two. 2015. We are going to deal with demonic surprises. Lift up your two hands. The devil will not surprise you. Nothing will take you on a Amen. Don't be a spectator. That is what we do here. Yes, sir. It is warfare. As soon as Zion travels, he brought forth her children. Yes, sir. Apostle Paul said, My little children in whom I travel in birth to Christ be formed in you. Elijah was a man subject to life, passion as we are. He prayed more earnestly that it will not rain. And he prayed again that heaven gave rain. Elijah used prayer to regulate the climatic conditions. He can shut the heavens and open it again. Hey. Today, may your prayer shut what must be shut. Hey. And may it open what must be open. Hey! 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 hey. 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 Anybody, hey. anybody that prays has nothing to fear. Yes, sir. Lift your two hands. Huh. Huh. Demonic surprises. I said demonic surprises. 2015. Jesus. Anywhere they gather against you, hey. they will know that you serve the living yeah. God. Yeah. Are you alive? Are you in 31st yeah. December? Demonic surprises. Demonic surprises. Lift your two hands. <laughs> As chapter 12, verse 1 said, Demonic surprise is going to go alongside anything that belongs to you that the devil has put in prison. <laughs> now, about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hand and vexed certain of the church. He took James and he killed James, the brother of John, with a sword. And after he killed it, people were rejoicing that somebody has been killed. Listen to the next verse. And because he saw it pleased the Jews. So who said that when we were in trouble, everybody is hard? Some people, all they are waiting for is that they will hear some bad news. Two thousand feet, God will frustrate them. And God will disappoint your enemies. You better respond with a clap and a shout so that God will have mercy. Giving you prayer point, I am prophesying alongside. Catch it if you are faith. How can somebody die and some other people are pleased? Fire. You will not be careless again. In the name of Jesus. You are going to deal with demonic surprises. Listen, today I was telling the scripture: Haman pay money into the king's treasure that the Jews must be annihilated. Somebody pay money for somebody's life. Hey. God, oh, oh Jesus, I feel like hey. I'm this. Anybody consulting anything for your destruction, hey. they will attract the judgment of God on this mountain. We are not ignorant about the devices of the enemy. We are not ignorant. Don't take things for granted. Life is more rare than the way you are looking at it. It's not waking up and going to work and come and get promoted. It's more rare. When you come from Africa and particularly from your family, even prosperity is a risk. Hey. To take the supernatural defense. Your, your, your mother's sisters will be angry that you are going to America. somebody is killed and somebody is rejoicing listen to what happened and because he saw it pleased the Jews he proceeded further to take Peter so when you give the devil an inch you take a yard today may you stop the enemy at where you are hey! I am not to do it for you you have to do it you must decree it by truth, we'll draw a line for the devil. Hey! You will not cross this line. Stop there. The 
has not been the Lord that is on our side. What shall we do? Nobody should take the prayer. Hey, today, go show me something. Hey, the Lord pointed some African countries and he said, Have you seen the things that is happening to them? That is not happening to you. Are you special? I couldn't answer. Then he told me, He said that if you people stop the prayer, mm. you will go through worse than them. Yeah. Mm. The, 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 the third prayer point uh, you are going to cover the four corners the west, the east, the north and the staff everybody when you are walking you are in this perimeter yes. this thing so you must protect your west he said Abraham as far as you can see southward, eastward, westward, northward I have given it to you now where God send his blessing Satan can send his attack because every blessings of God attract demonic attention so when Job was blessed he attracted the devil's attention this is what the devil told God. Does Job fear you for nothing? Have you not make a hedge around him? How did he know? He tried arrows and it didn't work. May you enjoy the hedge of the Lord in 2015. Oh, I said may you enjoy the hedge of the Lord. May your enemies be disappointed. Amen. The Lord just told me something. Let me release it. God told me, he said, tell them that I will meet their enemies halfway. Ma, ma, ma. And, I, 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 and, 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 and I told the Lord, in my spirit, I said, spoke inside. Spoke inside is an English word that means church. I was preaching in Kumasi and when I said something, somebody said, I said, spoke inside. I said, what's the meaning? He said, church. Spoke inside. He said, Kumasi English means, I said, what kind of church? So I asked the Lord, spoke inside, and he said, When Laban was on his way to kill Jacob, I met him halfway. Nobody was there, but Laban came and said, The God of your fathers met me. Hey! Let the God and the angel of this house yeah. 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 take it five minutes in prayer. Yeah. Take it. I don't want to rejoice. Take it. God must meet your enemies. God must meet your enemies. 2015. Whatever they are planning, God will meet them. Pray, pray, pray. Let the Lord meet them halfway. The enemies of your blessing. Enemies of your favor. Enemies of your marriage. The God of your fathers. And Ghana will go somewhere. We we'll know it from the first match. Yeah. We all get discouraged sometimes after the first match. So if you are going to do something in 2015, it must be seen today. Yes, Lord. Yes. Ah. Today I heard a loud voice from heaven, and this was the word: "It is not by might. Ah. It was like a tender. Hey. It is not by power. Hey. It is by my spirit. By the spirit." You are not going to make it by your might. Shut. You are not going to make it by your power. I'm telling you. Limo Sadias. Kibros. Laban came and said that it is in the power in my hands to do you harm. But the God of your fathers met me. God will meet your enemies 2003. Surprise, it is in the power of my hands to do you hurt. Famicom New Kim NIV. No more motion here. NIV. This is the devil speaking. I have the power to harm you. This is Laban talking. 
But last night, the God of your father said to me, Be careful. Hey, may the Lord speak the same thing to you. Hey. 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 You, don't, you don't understand the word. Who is talking? He said, I have the power to hurt you. But last night, last night, last night, last night. Today is the last night. Of the last night. The God of your father. When Laban said, I know what he's talking about. When God met Isaac, he introduced himself and he said, I am the God of your father, Abraham. Abraham. When he met Jacob, he said, I am the God of your father, Abraham and Isaac. Now, he said, so it means that when God met uh, Laban, he introduced himself to Laban. He said, Laban, Laban. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. careful, man. <laughs> Oh, somebody will clap and shout when we finish doing what we have to do. It will be too late. 2015, God will warn your enemies. God will warn your enemies. Secret enemies. Open enemies. Enemies of your soul. Enemies of your blessing. Hey. Yeah. Take me to the BBE Bible. Let me show them something. Take me there. Let me show them something. It is in my power to do you damage. This is an enemy talking. But the God of your father came to me this night saying, Take care. Take care. I can see God shaking his head and talking to your enemies. May you become the apple of God's eyes. May the Lord jealously preserve you. Take me to the message Bible. Let me show them something. Message. Huh? If I had mind, <laughs> if I have a mind to, I could destroy you right now. But the God of your father spoke to me last night. Be careful what you do to Jacob. Yeah. I want you to cancel Jacob and put your name there. 2017. Be careful what you do to Nanase. Can you say it very loud? Be careful. May the Lord stand at Allah. Mention your name and say, Be careful what you do to Nanase. Be careful what you do to the Pokisakonia family. Be careful what you do. Give the Lord a shout of victory. Be careful. And this is God talking. Be careful. Standing on a religious ground, you need a word from the Lord. Huh? the things you are hearing today these are the words God will pull out to pursue you some of your enemies God will ask him when he was under that prophetic crowd 31st where were you why could you to stop him from coming why could you to stop them from coming enough is enough enough is enough Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Come back to us chapter 12. Let's deal with demonic enough. surprises. You have a boy, no 10 minutes. Huh. Because he saw he pleased the Jews. He proceeded further to take Peter also. Then were the days of unleavened bread. Huh. If you stop praying, you cause a lot of harm. And when he has apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him, intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people and kill him also, like he killed James. But, 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 Peter therefore was kept in prison, but, prayer was made without Which means that, whatever belongs to that enemy has put in prison, prayer can bring it out. Yes. Demonic surprise. <laughs> you didn't hear what I said. <laughs> I want to add another prayer point. In addition to the demonic surprise, because my time is moving too fast. <laughs> 2015, I asked the Lord, <laughs> what would be the greatest mistake everyone would do? He said, when you allow the enemy to move you from my way. <laughs> when you allow the enemy to move you from my way for your life. Is the greatest thing it can come in the form of a trap. 
And when God took me to the scripture, he showed me something. <laughs> Mrs. Potiphar was a trap to move Joseph from the will of God. Mm -hmm. I, I won't go there, don't worry. It's not for that tonight. You are going to pray. Apart from demonic surprise, <laughs> Lord, grace never to move from your way. Hey. Because when you are in the center of the will of God, you will enjoy automatic favor. Amen. 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 You don't need to struggle. It just comes. That will be done on earth. Are you tired? No. Should we close? No. I've, had, I've had my encounter with the Lord. So me, I'm already in 2015. So you are not entering. So if you close me, I'm fine. Hallelujah. Today, I'll follow all the place. I was in a TV following all the... I was, I was moving with the moon. The rotation of the earth. I was the people that entered 2015 first. I went to Australia, came to China, Asia, and now I'm in Africa. Yeah. Ah. After this night, I'm going to the US. Okay. Move it. Protest in the spirit. The Lord said, go around. Just go around with them. I was watching it. <laughs> I was watching how they were doing it in Hong Kong. I was on the media and I was watching. I was on the internet. I was working with them. So when, when Australia was entering 2015, I went with them. When it shifted to Asia, I was there. Hey. Now in Africa, I'm already here. Yes, sir. You're not understanding what I'm talking about. Hey. 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 Which means that the anointing I brought here, 2015, you will not be a local champion. Yeah. 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 Give the Lord a shout. 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 I say you will not be a local champion. No, I want to ask you a question. Are you not tired, I'm tired. Of, of poverty? I'm tired. Are you not tired of no one's carrying out the car? Are you not tired of borrowing? Oh. Hey, oh. Tee, tee, tee. Are you not tired? By Jew. I just release a word in anointing. I just release it. Somebody say yes. Yes. Sure. Uh, your test for me because I'm 105. Let me try my dear. I'm 105. Okay, I'm 105. Take me to verse number 17. Are you ready? Huh? Demonic surprises. Huh? It's 105 and verse number 17. If they are okay there, they should be able to take me there. Somebody say, Amen. Yeah. He sent the man before them, so he's talking about a particular man. Even who talk to me, don't leave me alone. We must do this thing together. There is nothing like a crowd and the driver of the crowd, they are together. Yes, sir. So follow me. Yes, sir. He sent a man before them. Even who? Joseph. Don't sit here and think anything will drop on you. God has never done anything on earth without a man. Yes, Every time God wants to reach you, you will use a vessel. Yes. Even if you don't like me, I'm the one God is using. Yes. So what are you going to do about it? I saw President Obama yes. say something that I, I, I clap for him in my bedroom. He said, I know you don't like me as a black man, as a president, but I am. Mom, person, me here, president. Bamu pro, mum pro. Akonyano, me He said, I know you don't like it, but what are you going to do? I did be a show a kumem ma ubu efuno, a show a kumem. Obama the White House. Whether you are happy or you are not happy. And in the bedroom, say, Nyami no see him. Yes, Lord. Sure. 2050, I could not be a deal with deal with this so. I saw the Lord removing Vasti from the chair. And I saw Esther going back into the chair. May you take your possession upon Mount Zion, the Savi Holiness. Hey, that man, the general position is for you. That chief executive position is for you. That higher ministerial position is for you. Shall I receive it? Try, 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 try. 
The Lord told me, don't go there yet. It's not time for you to profess out. Lead them in prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Now, Psalm 105 verse 17, quickly. He sent the man before them, even Joseph, who was sold for a servant. Hmm. All things were together for good. Amen. Whose feet they hurt with fetters. He was laid in iron. Until the time his word came, mm. the word of the Lord tried him. <laughs> and after that, what happened? <laughs> and the king sent and loose him. Even the ruler of the people and let him go free. 2050, you are going free. Ah, I say you, you are going free. Hey. Hey. 2015, I say you are going free. Hey. 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 Every demonic surprise. Every demonic surprise. Hey. Unexpected accidents. Hey. Go to hospital, they tell you something that you have never heard in your life. Demonic surprise. You are going to block it. Everybody say block. 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 If you don't block it, it will flow. Blocking it before you enter the year. 2014. Emphasize our surprise in your uncle. I don't need it. The enemy will never take you by surprise. You will not bury anybody in your family. Amen. With the Jehovah Men can amen under such a prophetic country. Name of Yeshua. Hallelujah. Your car will not have accidents. No man will propose marriage to you and disappoint you last minute. Demonic surprises. You are going to stand in resistance. Fina because what you don't have a who who be their trail. Surprise. Devil is a liar. The John of the Media grow. Hallelujah. John of the Media grow. Demonic surprises. Do sack business in Ayaka. Be a Bobby Snadi Edumanian for so uncle uncle Bana Yaka. I mean to. Block it. Submit yourself to God. Resist the devil. And you flee from you. Hmm? When the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard. The standard must be lifted. Sure. 31st December 2015, you will come here with joy. No death. To announce it, everybody will know God has visited you. Oh, you are not hearing what I'm talking. I said, You don't need to tell anybody, they will know, they will know, they will know. Those who don't know, they will know. The Bible says, City built on a hill cannot hide. If it is from the Lord, it will be marvelous. Remember any surprise the enemy gave to your father and your mother. You will not go through it. In Jesus' name. Every demonic surprise must be blocked. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There are some things God told me. I took it for granted and it happened. Yeah. Yes. Hallelujah. Our property here. God gave me some letter. He told me, he said, I show it to you. You didn't do anything about mm. it. He showed me a bulldog that was chasing and coming in the midst of the people. I wake up and I was banding dog. No. If you don't block it, one day there was a chaos on earth. There was trouble. Somebody went to go and say, Lord, can't you do anything? He said, I sought for an intercessor. I sought for somebody that was standing in the gap. Today, it's a privilege you are standing here. Yes, Lord. There are many all night in town. But God in his own wisdom say, I had a person who walk. Yes, sir. So you are not here by accident. Yes, sir. Those who are somewhere, there is something God will tell them. Yes, sir. As long as you are here, you will need the flow from here. So stand and receive it. Man steps is ordered by the Lord. By God. You will not be surprised. Jesus. The devil will not surprise you. Yes, Lord. I have seen a lot of demonic surprise in the Bible. Hallelujah. Amen. You are going to block it. Block. You will.
will not hear any bad news. Ah, I am going to release a word. No bad news will go through your phone. Apostle, me we are, me we are. Getting to the end of the meeting, we will lift mobile phones. Okay. And I will make a prophetic decree on your phone. Hey. Everything that comes through your phone, a voice, it must be a good news for you to hear. Hey. 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 Jonah, <laughs> This year we are faster more than we have eaten. Yes. Come on, feel here, you know. A bomb pie. You buy a bomb pie. We should now our dinner today. Come and join the tray. Yes. And by bone, I like to go and catch a massive. And by bone, I'm born and started from home. And your mom, my men, Papa, no me. I feel me bubu no. You are there's a backlog. Tell your friend now. I raise. I raise. I deal with it. Until we then start, me bubu ni ama. I'm going back to your 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 roots. Because your history can determine your future. Amen. So if God doesn't change the history, it will repeat itself. Tap your two hands. Demonic surprises. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Surprises. My son here was telling me the number of accidents he had. One of them, he said he was coming. Coming from Tema to Accra. A car was coming from Accra to Tema. Mm. Skip off on the lane, mm. cross the middle pavement, and landed straight into his car. He said the guy, he landed straight on where the driver's side is. Mm. The guy who did that, he said, when they opened the car, there was a bottle of gin. No, no. The guy died at once. Mm. People pulled him from the car without a car. They asked him, where do you go to church? Mm. The people were mostly about the accident. Hey. Oh. When they came and they saw him, like, here, yeah, you will not be surprised by the devil. When the enemy come in like a flag. One day, man said, Jijom said they were coming to all night. Their tie, front tie, got off the car. The car stopped. Fixed the tie and came back. Jeez. The God of their fathers met the enemy. Amen. And you know, you can touch anything, but not this one. Yes, sir. You can't touch. 2050, you are untouchable. Amen. Amen. You and your family, you are all tortured. You are all tortured. This Holy Ghost inspired prayer. Say, I'm going to the area of your car. Concentrate. If you take you on your office, concentrate. You will not receive any demonic surprise. The devil will not surprise you. Yes, Lord. The devil will not do anything to bring sorrow into your heart. Yes, Lord. For by superior blood, Jesus. by the accomplishments of Jesus on the cross, Jesus. by the blood that fell at the cross of Calvary, hey. we send his arrow back hey. to die. Hey. Let the Holy Spirit lift the standards. Hey. We declare by the name of Jesus Christ, the name that is above every name. Hey. That as we lift our voice in prayer, hey. let the Spirit of the Lord lift up the standard. Hey. Anybody under the sound of my voice, hey. we soak you in the blood of Jesus. Every arrow the enemy shoots, let it return back to the devil. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Pray, 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 pray. Don't stand up, don't pray. Don't stand up, don't stand up, don't pray. I don't want to see you standing. Pray. Deal with every demonic surprise on your health. 
and your ministry, your prayer center, we declare enough is enough. No demonic surprise again.
for the living God, lift up a standard against the devil. to make a choice. Jesus. It's time to make a choice. And this one, you choose it in your heart. Ah, yes. Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 19. Hey. It's time to make a choice. It's time to make a choice. After all the things I've done, ah. last Friday was the 52nd all night for the year. We stand here every Friday to go through all night with thousands and pray. Today, I call heaven and earth as a witness. Yes. Today against you that I have said before you life and death. Hey. Blessing and cursing. Hey. But when you live here, therefore choose life. Yeah. Anybody choosing life, give the Lord a sign. Yeah. Choose life. Choose life. Yeah. Choose life. Yeah. Choose life. Choose life. I say choose life. That both you and your descendants may Finally, if I take you through the seven anointings, I want all instruments die. If I take you through the seven anointings, the Bible says choose life. Not everybody here has make a choice for life. Yeah. I'm standing on my barefoot Jeez. and I'm preaching mm. that after the story buildings, ah. after the cars, mm. after the money, hey. after all the investment in your bank account, hey. the most important thing is heaven. Yeah. Don't clap. Everybody stand to your feet. Yeah. Everybody here, stand. Nothing can be compared to that. Ah. I made a statement three days ago. If you mix heavy, you can't mix hair. Hey. Your believing doesn't change anything. And your not believing doesn't change anything. My Bible says it's only a fool that says there is no God. How did the earth come to existence? Ah. Thank God for the prosperity we are looking for. Thank God for the money. We need that to serve God well. God needs kingdom investors. All the things we are using here, we pay bills for it. So God needed that. But at the end of it all, if we exit this place and you die, where are you going? Hey! A rich man came to Jesus at night. And he told Jesus that, I can perceive that God is with you. No man can do the miracles you do except God be with him. This is a stop talking the nonsense. This is the conclusion of the matter. Except a man be born again, he can never, he can be a president, he can be a prime minister, he can be a chief justice, he can be a chief executive, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. This is the most powerful thing the man said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. Another word for life is reality. Another word for truth is reality. No one can enter the kingdom except by me. Jesus is the bridge. You don't get to the immigration of a country before you look for a visa. By the time you die, your visa to heaven is salvation. And if you don't have it, you will not even get out of the plane. Today is 1st January. You have been fooling around in 2014. Womanizing. 
messing up with your wife. Hey. Living a life of thinking that you own your own life. Hey. Hey. I am talking to you that if God draw this bread from your nose, you are nothing. I was sitting with my Bible and I came across a scripture. All men are like grass. We are like flatter that fade away. I saw a plane pulling dead body from a mid sea. I was sitting in my plane crying in my television. I said, Lord, why? The Lord told me the things that move you doesn't move me. I said, What do you say that? He said, When you see the dead, you are shaking. <laughs> he said, I created man from the dead. When Adam was lying down clay, he was a dead man. I breathed into him and he became a living soul. So you were dead. Don't clap. You were dead before I make a life out of you. And he told me, he said, son, it is not the body you see pulling out of the water. Where are they going? If you die from here, where are you going? If you ask me, you prophet Nana say, what is the son that you are born again? My spirit bear witness with the spirit of God. That I am a child of God. The wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God. This morning the Lord told me to tell you. He's standing at your heart and he's knocking. If you can take advantage of 31st December. We brought na- Sorry. I don't know why 31st. We brought nothing to this world. And certainly we will take nothing why should sex take you to hell? Why should alcohol take you to hell? Why should a girlfriend take you to hell? I can show you in this scripture. Bible talks about heaven. Bible talks about hell. It is real. You can't play games with it. As it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the days of the Son of God. The people were drinking until the flood water came. We will be jumping. Politicians will be doing campaign. The rapture will be terrible. What about you in the plane? The pilot is born again. And he's raptured. So in the day of rapture, empty planes will be, planes will be flying without pilots. It's a disaster. The Bible call it tribulation. Ah. You don't want to mix it. This is a dispensation of grace. Listen to me. Everything is in Jesus. And Jesus is in everything. If you have Jesus, you will be satisfied with your wife. You will marry one woman for 60 years and you don't need another woman. Because satisfaction is in Christ. The sin that you are carrying, somebody has paid for it. He hung at the cross. He shouted, these are his last words, it is finished. If you take advantage of it, I can't force you to Christ. The day I went to church to be born again, almost 20 years passed ago, I was chasing a girl. My friends told me that until I become Christian, I won't get her. I went to church like you were sitting. The man of God was preaching. I didn't know I would be a preacher. And I walked to the altar call. Gave my life to Jesus. Don't tell me you are shy to come here. You are not shy smoking. You are not shy sleeping with girls. You are not shy doing this. If you are ashamed before me, I will be ashamed before you, before my father. Anybody that is ashamed before Christ, he will also be ashamed before you. If God be for you, who can be against you? Okay, if God is also against you, who can be for you? In the overflow, whether you were a policeman or a security man, whether you came here and after that you wanted to go to drinking bar, I don't care what the enemy set you up for. Today, I have a warrant for your arrest. The door of heaven is open for you. I am not entertaining anything about you. If you are not born again, you are checking for pepper soup. For the devil. There is nothing in this world. Nothing. You can fake happiness. You can fake peace. But you can't fake joy. It's a fruit of the spirit. I promise you, if you have Jesus... You walk out of this door joyful. Salvation affects your taste. Change to smokers stop and you don't want to hear the scent of cigarette. I want to send an invitation to you. The Jesus that died, the Jesus that hung on the cross, he did that for you. 
He paid a debt he did not owe. We own a debt you could not pay. Hey, hey boy, you can't continue like this. Before we anoint you seven times and go back to sleep. If you are here and you know your name is not in the book of life. Or you used to be a Christian but you have backslided as a result of a boyfriend and a girlfriend. The first day of the year 2015, hey, Jesus can come after my altar call. They say, Master, when are you coming? He said, I'll come like a thief. He'll come on a west. I want to send an invitation. Anybody here that know your name is not in the book of life? I heard a loud voice. He said, the books were open. And they put me that scripture. And the dead. And everybody was judged. And those who names were not found in the book. The Bible talks about the liars, the abominable, the deceitful. They find themselves in the lake of fire. What a mighty God we serve. Lord Jesus. And I saw the dead, small and great. So some of them were queen mothers. Some of them were presidents. Small and great stand before God. And the books were open. I see your name in that book. Hey! And another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. Go forward, if it's there. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. And death and hell deliver up the dead which were in them, and they were judged every man according to their works. And therefore hell were cast into the lake of fire, and, the, and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. Anybody that escaped the second death will escape. Anybody that escaped the second death, how do I put it? Holy Ghost, help me. There are three kinds of death. We have spiritual death. We have physical death. We have eternal death. But if you escape the spiritual death, then you escape the eternal death. Once you become born again, you have escaped the eternal death. As for physical death, everybody will die. It's appointed for a man to die once and after death judgment. But anybody that will not escape the spiritual death, you can't escape the eternal death. Why do you want to go to hell? What is the benefit of that? The Bible is talking about lake for fire. If I'm not the one who wrote the Bible and you don't believe, this is it. God didn't bring you here by accident. Before we continue and close this service after seven anointing, if you are here and you know your name is not in the book of life, you are not born again. And that this nice bulbs and light and fire and the dew falling on you, every eye closed, Praying for those who claim those who claim you are born again. Praying for those who are coming to Christ. If you are in this compound and you know Jesus is not in your heart, you know after 31st you are not going to heaven. I want you to lift up your right hand. Wherever you are, I want to pray for you. God bless you. I see all those hands there. Don't fake it. Don't mess with it. Don't play games. Don't fool around it. It's more serious than you think. And if your hand is lifted, come to me here. Begin to walk towards me. Come. Come to me here. Come. Come to me. In every good church, people clap for those who come to Christ. Bless you, sir. Come to me here. In the overflow. In the compound. Outside. In the street. I see people in the street, wherever you are. Just begin to walk to me here. And those of you who claim you are born again, may you clap for them and encourage them to come to Christ. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. I surrender all. Come to Jesus. 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 Hundreds of you come to this. Some stand behind some. Come to Jesus. Keep on clapping for them. Encourage them. I say everybody who claim you are born again, clap for those who are coming to Christ. Keep on clapping for them. <laughs> Oh,
Now, now lift up your oil. Put your dream house and cars in front of you or the chair, wherever you can see it. Lift it up. Oh, the Lord will honor your word. I will say, you know, so. you cry. Now, to say, you know, so. to Now, I mean, can say, me, you Baby, I have come home. We need a breath of prophetic signs and direction. Amen. Can say, Amen. No one wants to be on Friday, Fabra. I'm just going to say something Friday. We are going to get into it. The Lord told me, He said, Let the people dream what? He said, Write the vision and make it play upon tablet. Hallelujah. What is the extent of Christianity if you God will not answer the, your heart desire? He said, He that you have you not asked, ask and you shall receive that your joy will be full. Give <laughs> to receive your twins. Amen. Is there? I see people's triple S twins. I see cars. I see stuff. Some of you have visions of building a hotel. Huh? Estate, rare estate. Yeah. Nobody was born rich. Nobody came to the earth with money in their hands. All the silver and the gold is for God. He decide what he want to write the vision. Give me Habakkuk chapter 2. Give me Habakkuk. Is it Habakkuk or Habakkuk? It depends on which school you attended. The basic pronunciation is different from Hachimota. They are not the same. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and I will want to see what they, he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me. Who answered you? And said, write the vision. That is what is in front of you. And that on the first January, make it plain upon tablets that he may run that read at it. Even if you cannot do it today, uh, if you cannot do it today, the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak. Whatever is in front of you, it will not lie. Though it tell you, wait for it. Because it will surely come. This is the word of the Lord. The problem with you is that you don't believe God. <laughs> don't worry, those of you were, those of you didn't believe, you were not here, so it's not your fault. We have been having two days program before this. I was there. The Lord gave me the direction yesterday. This is three days ago. Uh, today is three. So He said, "Let everybody bring fishing houses." Listen, everybody, look at me. Everybody, look at me. There are three things you need to have and to stay in Accra and have peace. You need a very good business or job. You need your own house. And you need your own good car. Three things. With that sign of mommy and some way. 2015, may you receive all this time. You have a good business or a good job. In short, turn off an hour taxi. Have you seen when it rained and they are flooded? We are looking for taxi. Huh? And then no tenant is coming to harass you for land uh, rent. So we are the no, no, sorry, no landlord. It's a struggle. Following Christ is not for shame. It's not for disgrace. I want to tell you to uh, the first January of the year that first day of the first month that poverty and Christianity. They don't match. No. No. In fact, one of the most difficult things that can ever happen to you is to serve God in poverty. You can start serving him poor, but along the line, you must prosper. May that become your testimony. Now, when we say we have faith, you know, I have a self foolishness, be sad. And I will explain. Who won't talk even obey that? Who jump out to do Rolls Royce? So it means that the way you are even operating your faith. It is coming to me and can't focus better. No, I started from Hyundai Santa Fe. Yes. Now with the Ababa do a Bia, BMW, and say no about Rolls Royce. Now who do we send a car? Who jump out a pie? Oh, they are crossing me back. 
I make a semi chow. Car be your own. The headlight. It me turn another car. Sir. So don't operate faith with foolishness. Now, to your faith, add virtue. Don't just operate it. No. If your faith cannot give you Hyundai, it, it will, don't try Rolls Royce. Oko Britia, the Rolls Royce showroom, you mm. book an appointment yes. before you can enter. But Hyundai, they beg you to come. It's not the same. No, it's not the same. In fact, some of the Rolls Royce showroom in, in Las Vegas, when I was there in California, you can only enter there by somebody who has bought a Rolls Royce before. Yes, I will. You, the people say, say, if I want to go, they will ask you, how many cars do you have? What is the most expensive car you drive? They say, Santa Fe. <laughs> they say, security, can you send this guy to the back seat there? May the Lord change your story. So start building it from somewhere. Lift. Also, that's triple S, eh? Hey. Who? And he has named them. Wow. One of them is called Sida. Sida. One of them is called Dromo. And this one is called what? Yehoada. We confirm the word of the Lord. Yes. This is a drag on your feet. Now lift up your oil. The vision you are put in front of you. May my dream house is very simple. And the way I'm here at the end, my faith can build it. Mumu di eni bi owa. Ube si mum. But kebe tu mi anka Friday pe bi bi ki tu ebi a faith be ti me di ama. Me bi a di eno di a kofano u faith. I no di ti me. Ah well. Me, what was the faith? You know, I've studied for some time. I'm telling you, sure. When I used to drive a car with that starter, when go moving from there, he didn't give me Rolls Royce. No. You can't you can't even service the car. Your car be over, you can't even service it. Owning the car is not as difficult as servicing the car. So you must understand the principle how it works. Some of the cars you can't service it. But who's a crabby or Lamongini? Sakas when no football stars and nomina a car. And you would train a time of company and they grow. What be a chief executive? Eh? And you can bet to me. I'm not destroying your faith, too, but I'm just teaching you sense. And cafe no sell last page. Not BMW 3 series B2 and Nim. No up uh Highland the beach one to her. And no dear, and then three months here, and you may be to be a move. Hallelujah. Uh-huh. Lift up your oil. As the oil touches the paper. We declare, let heaven register it to your account. That according to the book of Habakkuk, this vision will not die. Whatever is in front of you. Now Jesus, you say where two or three people have gathered, you are there. So by we believe you are in the midst of us. Now your eyes are seeing the expectation of your children. You bless Abraham. I saw my Bible saying Abraham was very rich. I declare that everybody put oil in your hands. First round, same say, oil. Lay it on that vision. Touch it. And pray in the Holy Ghost or thank God. Speak in tongues. The helpers to fulfill this. 
the helpers, the helpers, the helpers. Lord, remember that on the first day of the month January in the year 2050, we brought this vision before you. It might look impossible today, but with you, all things are possible. Oh, I see some of them being fulfilled in four months time. I see some of them being fulfilled in six months time. I see every one of them. God move on your behalf. Moshato Kapaya. Hayana Masaya. Children are going to be born. Houses shall be built. Companies will be raised. On Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. I move by the authority of God's grace on my life. That on Friday, you will bring this thing back to the church again. And I will give the final prophetic direction for us. After that, you paste it in strategic place in your room. And every time your eye hit it, let it move in the remembrance of the books of heaven. This vision will come to pass. Give the Lord a clap of it. Leave it on the ground. And take the seven anointings and let's close. Take your oil. Take your anointing oil and stand up. Number one. 2015. Anointing to get what you don't deserve. I'm closing the meeting, so don't stand and look at me. Take the little of the oil, this one, don't touch it. Pour it on the head like this. Huh? And pour it. Don't just say, feel good, Triso. Everybody will say you don't deserve it. First Samuel chapter 10, from verse number 1. Saul was miserably looking for his father's access. And he met a prophet of God. Today you have met a prophet of God. And Samuel took the vial of oil and poured it upon his head and kissed him and said, Is it not because the Lord has anointed you to be captain over his inheritance? Today, God has anointed you to be captain in your father's house and your mother's house. Go to the next verse. Hurry up. Read with me. I'm closing. When thou art departed from me today and you are going, then thou shalt find two men coming from Accra and Tema. And in the border of Togo and Ivory Coast. And they will say unto you, whatever you have lost that you are looking for, they have been found. Go to the next verse. Then shall thou go forward from thence, and thou shalt come to the plain of Tabor, and there shall meet the three men going up to God to Bethel. One carrying three kids. Everybody say three. Another carrying three loaves. Everybody say three. Three, three loaves. Of, and another, another carrying a bottle of wine. How many were they carrying? Three. Huh? Three. No, no, three. They were carrying what? Three loaves and three what? Three. Huh? Three. Case. Okay, watch this. Huh? Three, three. Three case and three loaves. And when they meet you after church, they will salute you. It means that people will acknowledge you from today. Yeah. And the people carrying the tree, they will give you how many? Two. Uncommon favor. Yeah. It means that when people meet you and they are carrying things, they will give you more than what they will keep. Yeah. Yeah. Anointing to get what you don't deserve. So does not deserve to become a king, but it's in the palace. Amen. Yeah. Listen to me, everybody watch me. If you always get what you deserve, God is not with you. You are just struggling. 
if you always get you see where you work at the salary they give you that is what you deserve huh but if you meet somebody and give your mercedes benz free people will say why did he get the money to buy it may you receive what you don't deserve yes it is god a lot of white people don't think obama deserved to be a president but he's there he's the black first black guy to enter white house and stay there so when that anointing hits you when you live here you will get things people will say ah. this is what they ask is so also among the prophets ah they are going to ask are you also among the millionaires first anointing after that we praise god dance for 10 minutes and go home anointed to get what you don't deserve have you anointed yourself yes. number two anointing for overflow yes. your shop in accra you are going to open one in kumase you open one in takrade you open one in oh you are, you are not saying uh, let me get out of here some of you will be working in the office with your business also running around. In fact, I'm going to release this prophetic word. Some of you between now and December, you will not need to touch your salary. You are just working in that company because you want training. I'm sure next year by this time, your company will flourish so much that you must give them a resignation letter. Psalm 23 verse 5. 2015, Psalm 23, verse 4. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointed my head with oil. My cup ran. Received anointing for overflow. <laughs> Hallelujah. Number three, anointing for fruitfulness. Deuteronomy 33 verse 24. I've read that one to you before. Everybody is anointed for fruitfulness. And of Asha, he said, let Asha be blessed with children. Hmm. And let him be acceptable to his brethren. And let him dip his feet in what? Oil. Of Asha, he said, let him at Asha be blessed with children. Anointing for fruitfulness. Amen. Tap your hands with your belly and say, I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. With destiny. <laughs> You cannot be broke. May you be academically fruitful. May you be financially fruitful. May you, oh, are you saying I'm into it? May you be fruitful in your business. Oh, this guy, I'm very close in getting it too. Ah, may I have faith for it. Who knew her? May do Hallelujah. What about this yoke breaking anointing? Yeah. Isaiah 10 27. Fashion with you. In the very near growth. 2015, yoke be in the chi. Yoke of second. I cast every sickness in your body. Let sugar diabetes be cast to the root. Let hypertension be cast to the root. Hey, you are not saying amen to the things I'm declaring. Let every blood disease be cast to the root. You walk in divine health. What scripture did I quote? Isaiah 10 27. I see putting it on the scripture, on the screen. Oh Jesus. And it shall come to pass in 2007 that day. Your burden shall be taken away from your shoulder and your yoke from your neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Give the Lord a shout if you are here. Yoke breaking anointing. Loba suti kitakaya. I've given you how many anointings now? Huh? Okay. The anointing for defense. The horns anointing. Psalm 92 verse 10 to 11. I'm closing. Hallelujah. 
I'm not in for defense. Everybody need defense. But my horn shall not exalted like the horn of unicorn. I shall be anointed with what? After this anointing, what will happen? Verse 11. My eye also shall see the desire on my enemies. And my ears shall hear my desire of the wicked that rise up against me. Give the Lord a shout if you believe this one. Defense. Defense. I say defense. I say defense. 2015, by your eyes see your desire on your enemies. Finally, Psalm 89, verse 20. I have found Michael, my servant. I have found Vic, my servant. I have found Anasseh, my servant. Everybody mention your name and read the first one. Who we are second one of all you go with him. With my holy oil have I put a little oil in your hand, read it, mention it, and act on it. Ready, go. And I say my servant, with my holy oil. After the anointing, what will happen? Take it from verse number 21. Watch this. With whom my hand shall be established, my arm also shall strengthen him. 2000 and, and, and 2015. Hey, the Lord will strengthen you. The Lord hands shall be established on your life. And the Lord will strengthen you. Come to Psalm 89 and verse number 21. He said, My hand also, whom my hand shall establish, whom my hand shall be established, my arm also shall strengthen him. So you cannot become weak in 2015. Verse 21 said, The wicked, with whom also, according to verse 22, he said that. The enemy shall not exert upon you. Amen. Nor the son of wickedness will not afflict you. Amen. God says, verse 23, He will beat down your foes before your face. Amen. And you will plague them that hate you. Amen. Oh, I didn't know. He said, His faithfulness and mercy shall always be with you. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. And in my name shall his horn be exalted. Close your anointing or your bottle. No, don't close this. Lift it up. Father, I declare, as this oil get into their house and they obey this prophetic direction, fulfill your counsel and the thing you put on my heart. When you go back to your house, the door to your bedroom or your hall, whatever you enter, draw a line with this oil. Amen. If the house is your own house, the main gate, draw a line. Mm. Now listen, if the house is not yours, don't go and draw a line. Because who draws a line? Draw a line in your bedroom. Don't go and protect people who doesn't serve God. It's not necessary. It is when you enter if you have any problem, to know you're correct. So draw a line to the room to your bedroom. But if the house is yours, draw a line at the gate and draw one in the the, the main. If some people enter the house through kitchen, some enter through hall. Even if I say roof, whatever you enter, just draw that in there. I don't know how often I didn't go to house to draw, but do it. Draw a line there. Are you listening to what I'm talking about? And declare this prophetic word. Anything in this house that is not put by God. Let it exit this out by this order. In fact, some of you, when you finish this action, some people will leave your house. They will leave. A certain guy ran away from my house and I've forgotten that I did prophetic action three days before he left. I just said, I said, Lord, let every wrong person never be comfortable in this house. The next day, I call you, maybe. Some of you must draw it in the entrance to your office. Mm. Obi ba office or be mo break say no asansa na tiako.
the counsel of the Lord will stand. 2015. Now come and roll the banner. We have closed. Let me tell you what God said to me. Watch. That is what is in front of you. 2015. 2015. It's your year. Of taking give the Lord a better shout of victory if you are there. It's your year of taking new territories. In your church, ministry, favor, children, giving, finances, international appointment, economy, new employment, security, wealth, travel, every area of your life. If this is Nigeria, the rejoicing will be better than God. It's our year of taking new territories. That is why you have those things in front of you. Some of you don't have the picture, but it's in your heart. Yes. Some of you don't even need a picture. Can we take 10 minutes to just praise God? Yes. And go home. Yes. Take up the official. Look at someone and say, excuse me, once I give God a praise, tell the person, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. You know, beyond the way to my in Wasa. Are you blessed today? Yes. Amen. God bless you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this message. For further inquiries, contact World Prayer Center, P.O. Box, GP21421, Accra, or telephone, plus 233-303-413-703, or plus 233-303-413-705. Email us on info at wpcministries.org, or visit our website at www.wpcministries.org.